Hi, my name is Brian McLean. I'm an instructor of JavaScript and Python programming at Noble Desktop in New York City. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable a play button in a gaming interface. So the idea is you have a, a play button that shouldn't be active and yet the user thinks they can click on it. We want that to be all grayed out and unresponsive until the user chooses the game level that they want off the menu. You know, the button is lighting up when you mouse over it. We want to turn that off. But we would also like to disable any JavaScript so that the button doesn't do anything when you click on it. So we're going to make the button call a function. So I've got my select object and my button element. Notice that neither of them has an ID. We could give them IDs, but you don't have to, to bring them into JavaScript. We can use query selector. I'm going to go in here and get the button. We'll call it btn equals document dot query selector button. Grab it by the element. There is no other button, so it'll know which one to get. And then we'll have menu equals document dot query selector, the select menu. We're going to have the button listen for a click upon itself. And when that takes place, it's going to call the, call the play function, which we'll write function play. And let's just give it an alert. We'll say game on, have a pop-up just so we know that the button is working. I'll go back, refresh, click, and the button now has JavaScript. So the button is totally active, right? It, it responds to CSS mouse over, and it also calls a function when you click it. So now what we're going to do is disable the button. So to do so, go into the button element and just put the disabled attribute directly into the tag. That will turn off the JavaScript part. So now it no longer calls a function, but it's still lighting up, and that's the CSS. I'm going to go into the CSS, find the hover state, turn that off. The cursor pointer, where it turns into that Mickey Mouse glove, we're going to turn that off. And we'll tone down the colors. Instead of 3, 9, 4, we'll say 3, 5, 4. Kind of mute that green. And then, I don't know if you knew this trick, but we can add an opacity. You can go into a six digit hex color and add two more values at the end, opacity. So now we're giving it a 33% opacity, which will wash it out. Refresh there. So the button looks deactivated, disabled, and indeed it is. So the next move is when you choose, we wanna undo all that and have the button come back to life. So back in our JavaScript, we're gonna add an event listener for the menu. So have the menu do something when you, not click, but when you unchange, right? A menu runs functions on change, not on click. And we'll call that activate play. Go ahead. We want to turn on the button. So we'll say btn.disabled equals false. Now it'll be able to call the JavaScript. And then for styling, we want to set the colors back to a little bit brighter. So we'll go background color 394. And for the color, we just want plain white with no opacity setting. And for the pointer, we want to go back to cursor pointer. So got all that running when you choose off the menu. Button disable false to allow the button to call functions again and some CSS to make the button look like it is ready to be clicked. We start out on page load with the disabled button. We choose, and now the button's all bright and lit up, and it calls a function. The last little thing we might want to do is not have a pop-up. We do have this text box for feedback. We want the message box. We'll say message box equals document, get element by ID, MSG box. And now that we have that, instead of an alert, we can say MSG box dot text content equals Game on, good luck. Let's run, choose, hit play, and it says game on, good luck. And that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, my name is Brian McLean. I'm with Noble Desktop in New York City, where we have boot camps in JavaScript, full stack web development, and in Python data science, as well as many other great courses available live online and in person at our facility. Until next time, bye-bye.